Is your Microsoft Authenticator app not working or unable to sign in? Don't worry. In this video, I will show you how to resolve common issues on the iPhone with the latest iOS version. So, let's get started. Microsoft Authenticator requires permission to display notifications. If you haven't enabled it, your Authenticator app won't display login approval requests on your iPhone. So the first solution is to enable push notifications. Launch the Settings app on your iPhone and scroll to the Notifications section. Afterward, scroll to the Notification Style section and tap on Authenticator. Ensure the toggle switch for Allow Notifications is turned on. Ensure the Do Not Disturb or Focus mode is not active as it will block notifications from the apps. If the Authenticator app crashes, force it to close. To do so, swipe up from the bottom of your iPhone screen to access the app switcher. Swipe upwards the Microsoft Authenticator card to close the app. Then, relaunch, and then check if the problem is resolved. If you're still getting signing in errors, follow the second solution, check internet connection. Ensure that VPN and airplane modes are disabled on your iPhone. Still, the Authenticator app requires internet access. Try connecting to Wi-Fi or cellular data and checking if it works. Some users have reported that the Microsoft Authenticator app fails to open or prevents them from signing in. Follow the third solution, restart your iPhone. Swipe down at the top right corner to open the control center. Press and hold the power button icon until the slide to power off option appears. Slide the slider and turn off your iPhone. Wait for a minute and then press and hold the power button to restart your iPhone. Wait for the restart process. After that, unlock your iPhone and check if the problem is fixed. If the Microsoft Authenticator app crashes repeatedly, try the fourth solution. Update the app and your iPhone. Launch the App Store and search for the Authenticator app you have installed on your iPhone. If an update is available, proceed. Otherwise, skip this step. Next, launch the Settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down and tap on General and select Software Update. Wait for a moment until your iPhone checks for the latest or pending software update. If available, download and install the newest software version. Still, does the app crash or close automatically? Follow the fifth solution, check storage space, then offload and reload the Authenticator app. Launch the Settings app, scroll down, and tap on the General section. Tap on iPhone Storage. If your iPhone is running out of storage, scroll down and find the Authenticator app. You can view the app size and the space taken up by documents and data. To free up storage, tap on the offload app and confirm. Also, delete the large and space-consuming apps from your iPhone. Afterward, return to the Authenticator and select Reinstall the app. Also, try deleting and reinstalling the Authenticator app to see if the problem is resolved. Press and hold the Authenticator app icon, then select the Remove app option. Then select the Delete option. A message prompt on your iPhone screen says, Deleting this app will also delete its data but any documents or data stored on iCloud will not be deleted, so confirm the delete option. Then, launch the App Store and reinstall the Authenticator app. In some cases, users may forget to update their correct location address, resulting in inaccurate information. So follow the sixth solution, enable location services. Launch the Settings app from the iPhone's home screen, scroll down and tap on Privacy and Security. Afterward, tap on Location Services and turn the toggle switch next to it on. The seventh solution is to disable VPN. Launch the VPN app and disconnect it. Alternatively, launch the Settings app, tap General and scroll to the VPN and Device Management section. Tap on VPN and turn off the toggle next to VPN. Now, tap the Info button next to the VPN name and select Delete VPN. Again, tap on Delete to confirm. Before moving to the next solution, launch the Safari browser and visit the service status page. Verify that everything is functioning properly. If you want passwordless sign-in, proceed to the 8th solution, Check and Register Device. Launch the Microsoft Authenticator app and tap the menu icon in the top left corner. Tap on Settings. Then, tap Device Registration under the Work or School Account section. Tap the Register Device option and enter the email address you use for the organization. Then, click the Register Device button and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the registration process. 
If the problem persists, follow the ninth solution, Remove Authenticator, as a verification method for a specific app in its settings. For example, I am trying to log in to my Gmail account, but I am unable to access the Authenticator app. So I am choosing to try another way and selecting Enter Password. Then, enter the password and sign in to my Google account. Complete the two-step verification using any one verification method, and there you go. My Google account is set up on my Mac. To add Google Authenticator to your iPhone, launch the Safari browser and visit the two-step verification page. Scroll down and select the Authenticator. Your Authenticator is available here. If it's old, click on the Remove icon and confirm with OK button to remove the Authenticator app. Then follow the tenth solution, which involves scanning a QR code using the Authenticator app. If your work or school provides you with a QR code to set up your account, use the Scan QR Code feature in the Authenticator app, instead of the Camera app. On a Mac, navigate to the Step Verification page and open the Authenticator app. Then, click Set Up Authenticator. The QR code appears here. Now, on iPhone, launch the Authenticator app and tap on Verified IDs at the bottom. Now, select Scan QR Code to set up your account. The Google account is successfully added to my iPhone's Authenticator app. Enter the six-digit code on the Authenticator app and click the Verify button. Now the Authentication app is set up on Mac and iPhone. Whenever you try to sign into your account, your Authenticator app will notify you and display a one-time code for sign-in. If you are switching to a new phone and your Microsoft Authenticator isn't working because the app is linked to your old device, you need to transfer your data to your new phone. For iPhone, follow the 11th solution, Restore Authenticator on a new phone. First, ensure you have signed in with the same Apple ID and that iCloud Sync is enabled for the Authenticator app. Then, launch the Authenticator app and tap the Begin Recovery button. Please note that you can transfer Authenticator data from one iPhone to another iPhone and from one Android device to another Android device. Tap on the top iCard to watch the full video on how to transfer Microsoft Authenticator to a new phone. Afterward, sign in with your Microsoft account and follow the on-screen steps to restore your Authenticator account. Once your account is restored, remove your old device from security settings. When you sign in to your account and wait for the sign-in code, enter the number on the screen prompts. If you see the Request Denied message, select the Use Your Password Instead option, then enter your password and proceed. If you try to sign in multiple times, you may see the Too Many Requests error in the Microsoft Authenticator app. To resolve this issue, please wait 12 to 24 hours and then try logging in again using a different browser or device. If security is not enabled, your data will be at risk and the Authenticator app will cease to function. Microsoft Authenticator requires your phone to be secured with a PIN, fingerprint, face ID, or another biometric authentication method. So follow the 12th solution, check unlock settings. Re-enable or set up password or enable Face ID biometrics on your iPhone to fix this issue. Launch the settings app, scroll down and tap on Face ID and passcode. If a passcode is available, enter it and tap on Set up Face ID. Then, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the Face ID setup. If your iPhone's clock is not synced, Microsoft Authenticator won't work. To fix this, go through the 13th solution. Set the system clock to automatic. Launch the Settings app, tap General, and then scroll to the Date and Time settings. Now, turn on the toggle next to Set Automatically. That's it. If you try to add your account and see a message that says, the account you're trying to add is not valid at this time, contact your admin to fix this issue, Uniqueness Validation. There may be an issue with your account or a misconfiguration in your organization's directory. So follow the last solution. Contact admin and fix uniqueness validation. Contact your school or workplace administrator and provide your login details, such as your name and email address, to verify your address. Afterward, the admin will review your account status, remove any duplicate entries, and confirm that your account is synced and registered. Once the admin fixes the uniqueness validation issue, you can add your account and complete the multi-factor authentication setup. That's it. You can contact Microsoft Technical Support by phone through the numbers displayed on the video screen. I hope you found this helpful, guys. Drop a like and subscribe for more tips on authentication, conditional access, and account recovery solutions.